We interviewed CEO Otto Lundman and development engineer Gear Sodren from Modvion to learn about why they're building wind turbine towers out of wood. All right, welcome everybody. We're here today with uh, a very interesting company. Uh, we heard about this company, Modvion, from one of our viewers in Sweden who visited one of their towers. And so we're lucky today to have with us uh, Gear Sodren, who is a development engineer, and Otto Lundman, who is the CEO of Modvion. So thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So you build wooden towers for uh, wind turbines. Um, how, what is the current technology for building a wind turbine? So the current technology for building the towers are tubular steel towers mostly. Um, but as wind power becomes more cost effective, the taller you make the turbines, these uh, cylinders that make up uh, the towers, they, they need to become larger than what is possible to do really uh, with that technology since it needs to be transportable. Now, wait a minute. I mean, steel seems like the perfect choice here, right? It's pretty cheap. It's very strong. Um, why can't we just keep going taller and taller with steel? Yeah, so logistically, you, you need a larger base diameter than, than the 4.5 meters that is possible to transport on uh, the average road. Uh, so you need a modular technology, and Modvion has such a technology. But then uh, you, by going away from steel to a wood-based material, as we do, we lower the weight, we lower the production cost, uh, we make it a whole lot more carbon uh, neutral. Um, instead of a large emission, we have carbon sequestration in the material. Wait a minute. So... Explain to our viewers how wood can be carbon neutral. It seems kind of counterproductive, right? Because you have to cut down trees and everyone loves trees. So why, why is it carbon neutral? In general, in Sweden and many parts of the developed world, uh, the, wood, the timber industry is actually, they're growing trees to cut them down and then they regrow them again. So it's not like they harvest rainforest in general. It's more of a developed industry with lots of history and it's a sustainable system, and every time the trees grow up again, they capture more carbon from the atmosphere. So uh, if you keep the, the wood in a structure as a wind turbine tower, uh, it actually has a net negative uh, emission effect. But now, why do we have to go up so high? Why don't we just build a lot more of them? Well, by increasing the height, you, uh, you get to the stronger and more stable winds. Uh, and you can put up a larger rotor and a larger generator. And since it's the uh, area of a circle, uh, the larger rotor means that you have so much more swept area and therefore you can have a much larger generator and the cost per kilowatt hour goes down drastically. So you can see the full interview with Modvion and learn all about what they're working on by checking out that full episode where we interviewed them. That was really cool. I learned there's a limit to how high you can build a wood tower and it blew my mind. Yeah, way higher than I was expecting. If we want to change this world of ours, which we do, then we've got to spread information like this. And you can. We've made these clips short and easy to share. Just click on the share button down below, copy the link and paste it into an email or your social media. Now you know.